This is a great day. It's a great day for the University of Nebraska. It's a great day for Husker Athletics. And quite honestly, it's a great day for the entire state of Nebraska. Trev's exactly the kind of leader that will help our incredibly talented coaches, student athletes, and our staff here at Husker Athletics to succeed on all fronts. When it comes to this amazing intersection that we are now approaching with the future for student athletes in the NCAA, I feel that Nebraska is poised to be a leader in name, image, and likeness, and what the future for athletics is going to look like for the future student athlete. So the future is now, and we're going to go forward. We're going to have a whole new view of what it means to win in this program. Culture. The culture of this program, as good as it's been historically, as good as it even is today, is going to see a whole new rebranding when the Trev Alberts is our new leader. I am 100% confident that this is the right person to lead Husker Athletics moving forward, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you Trev Alberts. Nebraska will win the national championship! The enthusiasm here is as good as any place, but the integrity here of the fans is the best in America. Nick, so what, what have I gotten myself into this time? <laughs> okay, so uh, to start, like I mentioned, we want to call this documentary and this docu-series The Place, and that okay. is going off of the expression that you hear all the time, there is no place like Nebraska. Best thing that could have ever happened to me. Um, you know, it was uh, a place that had challenges, not unlike any place. Um, but you have to understand, I mean, I, I was literally thrown into the sea and it was either sink or swim kind of concept. And I loved that. Um, I was forced to learn about things that I um, could have never imagined. UNO was in a hole there for a while. And it took a great, uh, a good program, really made it great. But he, he's not afraid to uh, take on challenges and make uh, some unpopular decisions. You know, the best days of UNO are ahead of it. When a place is your alma mater, um, it's a, a special place. And uh, so I'm just thrilled to get the opportunity to be, be here in Lincoln. I love this place. Um, um, I, I love the University of Nebraska. And uh, I learned so much as a young man. I told Coach Osborne this many times, but uh, other than my faith and my family, everything I have today, materially and otherwise, is a result of an opportunity to be a student at the University of Nebraska. It's, I've never once got up and said, and you know, these are long days, um, starting at seven and get home at 8, 30, 9 o'clock. I have never got up in the morning and said, I, I gotta go to work today. I love this place. I love the people I work with. I love the student athletes and um, at the end of the day, my chief problem is I have a competition problem, and there's nothing better than winning. Trump never, never too proud to ask for help, and I mean, amazing things happen when he was there. Amazing things will happen in Lincoln. The most important thing for the next AD was somebody that understood Nebraska. I knew deep down Trev was the right guy, and I'm really glad that Ronnie Green and Ted Carter were able to get him to be our athletic director because he fits, he checks all the boxes. As I was walking out, I said, are you gonna interview Trev? And he just said, do you think he'd be great? And I said, I'll run through the wall for him. Let it be said of the Husker Athletic Department that this place is reflective of Nebraskans and the way Nebraskans live their life. They're tough, right? 
They're really hardworking people. They don't ever make excuses. Rarely do you hear Nebraskans make excuses. And most importantly, they never, ever, ever quit. Nebraska athletics it is the state. And it's as big in Omaha as it is in Shadron or Scotts Bluff, North Platte, Lincoln. I mean, it matters a ton. But Nebraskans are competitors. It's to find our state, our athletic programs, and about everything we've ever done. We punch above our weight in like everything that we do. Trev is a competitor. Everybody bleeds Husker here. To me, that's why there's no place like Nebraska. I think Nebraska fans are the greatest fans at all of college football. The enthusiasm here is as good as any place, but the integrity here of the fans is the best in America. There's been so many changes happening in college athletics right now, and so I, I'll use the term, Trev needs to reinvent our athletic department. Now there's some things that have gone really well, but there's some things we have to reinvent. And I, I, I've been really impressed with the meetings and the vision and the things he's thinking about and how to try to keep Nebraska ahead. So what's the next edge we can find? To me, that's another big challenge. You know, and, and, and to be totally honest with you, John Cook has not been shy about giving me some pointers administratively too. I'm not uh, so arrogant that, to think that I can't benefit from John Cook's leadership. He's really got a team mentality. It's not about him. It's always about everyone else. Yeah. And he makes them work just as hard as he does. He has got to make everybody feel like they're a part of the team. And that was what Coach Osborne did an awesome job of that. But I think part of being a team is we're all in this together. Scott Frost's success, Fred Hoiberg, Amy Williams, Paul Klumpa, their success is mine and my success is theirs. We're a team. When I heard he was going to Lincoln, and having seen what he had done for a decade at UNL, all I could think of is the Big Ten has no idea what's coming their way. Mm -hmm. This guy, he doesn't know quit, he doesn't know stop. He's not a medalist, he's a gold medalist. He won't be happy to be competitive in the Big Ten. He won't be happy to have good programs in the Big Ten. Um, he is going to want to win, and I think they'll make a huge impact. As for Omaha, we'll celebrate louder than anyone else in the state. There's more of us. You, you hate to see uh, somebody who's very good leave. That's that's difficult. But you know, on the other side of the coin, it's it's he, he he's great for Nebraska. Let's be honest. This is a very uncomfortable time for administrators in college athletics. I don't think anybody has a clear vision or picture about where we're ultimately going to end up. But at the end of the day, there will be winners and there will be losers out of this deal. Our job is to make sure Nebraska's a winner. The world is changing, it's different. And our job is to create a strategy to be successful given the new realities that we will soon face. The tougher the circumstances get, the tougher the can get conditions get, it's always gonna favor the best competitor. It's always gonna favor the person who's willing to work the hardest, who's gonna surround themselves with the best people, who has proven themselves to be able to make great decisions and figure it out. The harder it gets, the more I like our odds because that really favors leadership. And Trev is a great leader. And our ability to think strategically, to think outside the box, think entrepreneurially, think differently. To be honest with you, those are just Nebraska values. We've always been different. Football uh, is the engine that drives athletic departments, and that's just the reality of it. You know, Scott has a deep love for this university as well. You know, what do they say about insanity? It's doing the same thing over and expecting different results. We're not doing the same thing over anymore.